the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Jeremiah chapter 9, we'll start from verse 23. 23. Thus saith the Lord, please pay attention, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches next verse but let him that glorieth glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me that he understandeth and knoweth me the bible starts by listing four categories of people alongside the fact that every of those dimensions carries glory he starts by saying let not the wise man glory in his wisdom so there is glory in that level of wisdom that wisdom there is not divine wisdom sophia human wisdom scientific wisdom wisdom that is a product of exploring life for a long time it says let not please go back 23 let not the wise man glory in his wisdom when the bible says to not do something it means that it is possible to do it are we together that means there is a level of glory that the wisdom of this world can bring then he moves to the next level he says neither let the mighty man glory in your might so there is glory in might there are men and women with all kinds of might intellectual might military might and there is a level of glory that you see there number three he says let not the rich man glory in his riches it means there is glory in riches are we together that it is possible for you to be rich and there is a glory there and then he says but let him that glory it so in any case there must be glory but he's only giving you a reference listen carefully he is not saying glory in strength and all of this and he's showing you an excellent dimension that there is glory in the wisdom of men are we together now there is glory in might there is glory in riches however this is the kind and the dimension i want your glory to be a derivative of the fact that you understand and you know me because in understanding and knowing me there is a representation of all these glories you forsake that you ignore the glory that comes with the wisdom of men. You ignore the glory that comes with might aside from God. You ignore the glory that comes with riches outside of God. And then you seek to understand and know him. He says there is a glory that is in that experience. That is surpassing. Greater than the glory that comes. All of these dimensions of glory, they are there. But he's showing you that there is a glory that excels. There is a glory that excels the wisdom of men. There is a glory that excels the might of men. There is a glory that excels earthly riches. He says that glory is a product of an encounter that you understand and you know me. That means that if four of us stand, we can both emit levels of glory but i can trace 
the basis of that glory i can know that your glory comes just from earthly riches your glory comes from sophia human wisdom your glory comes from the military might but i can look at a man and know that this one this glory is a product of knowing god is it not written in your bible that the people that do know their god they shall be strong and they shall do exploits the word glory is very important the glory of a thing is a measure of its worth listen carefully in the simplest term the glory of a thing is a measure of its worth a measure of its value a measure of its desirability the more glorious a person and a thing is the more you are desired the more the weight of the value that is placed on you and so imagine with me for instance that all of these dimensions are like gold that you are placing on a scale so you place the glory that comes from earthly wisdom and the scale will measure it you will write it you place the glory that comes with riches and might but then that there is a glory that the scale cannot measure when it comes from knowing God, you drop it is a glory that excels. It's an all-surpassing glory. Please pay attention. I'm building something now. So the Bible begins to contrast. Number one, he says it is important that the saints glory, but it tells you what to glory in. Because herein is our Father glorified when you bear much fruit. In your being glorified, God is being glorified. John 17, Jesus said the hour has come. Glorify now thy son that thy son may give you glory. Meaning an unglorified saint cannot bring glory to the father. The glory of the father is in the glory of the saints. Are we together now? That if there is a dimension of glory the saints do not express, it will short-circuit the understanding of creation about God. Glorify now thy son that thy son will bring you glory. Add weight to your son. Add desirability. Put something within him that the rich outside you cannot have. Put something within him that the wise outside you cannot have. That when you stand on the scale of destiny is a weight that cannot be measured. The glory that excels. Hmm. In Mark chapter 2, Jesus taught a mystery that I want to connect to this very quickly. His mysteries were captured in his parables. And in one of the parables, he teaches us on the mystery of wineskins please give us verse 18 mark chapter 2 there is a glory that excels and the disciples of john and the pharisees and you know and they came home to him and said to him why do the disciples of john and of the pharisees fast oh dear but thy disciples fast not. 19. And Jesus said, he's replying a question. Remember that the foundation of this question was the issue of rituals, structures, systems. Keep that in mind. So he was challenging Jesus' violation of a system. This is the basis for this statement. There is a methodology. There is a way things were done. And now they found out that Jesus was routing his system. He was not conforming to what they were doing and they, they were questioning his authority. What gave you the audacity to come up with another formula? We are used to this. This is the ritual. But now Jesus, we see you mentoring your disciples through another route. And Jesus is replying, Can the children of the bridegroom or bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. 20. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and then they shall fast in those days. 21. He says, no man. Now listen. He's buttressing on this point now. No man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment. 
else the new piece that filled it up take it away from the old and the rent is made worse are we together now next verse and no man put it new wine into old bottles or an old wine skin why else the new wine don't bust the bottles and the wine is spilled and the the bottles will be marred but the new wine must not may be put in a new wine skin listen very carefully Jesus is teaching them something here very powerful and then he now brings this his parables on the cloth and then more importantly the wineskin he's saying that if you put wineskin I hope you know that the wineskin he now calls old was once new don't forget that what he now calls old was by a reference new and now he's saying that if you are bringing new wine that it is not possible to bring new wine and put it in an old wine skin that the effect it would be better to have left the old wine and the old wine skin that if you try to mix them there will be a reaction and that that reaction will make the condition worse listen carefully there is a reason why revivals never last there is a reason why the move of God comes for a while. Revival, revival, revival. People organize programs and for one or two weeks, people feel spiritual. They feel connected and one month later, everyone has gone back to his ways. The reason is because we continue to violate the condition that makes for new wine to be comfortable. The focus is never on the new wine. He says you attract new wine by doing something to the wine skin. You don't ask new wine to come. Something must happen to the wine skin that automatically attracts new wine. Listen carefully. Wine skin in scripture is symbolic of structures and systems. You have to understand this. It's not only just symbolic of a man. It's symbolic of methodologies and strategies. That for every move of God, there is a pattern and there is a spiritual formation that can contain it and host it. Are we together now? I shared with you in one of the services how that when it came to killing the Philistines, God gave Samson a revelation and he took the dry bone, jaw bone of an ass and he killed the Philistines with it. As soon as he was done, he was asked to throw it. Sometimes you don't throw things because they have stopped working. You throw them because they will not be needed again, although they are still working. The Bible never said the old wine skin were already torn. It could still contain it but that new wine in an old wine skin cannot last every move of God and every dimension of glory has a spiritual formation that you must assume otherwise the glory will not be comfortable around you and it will be wasted this is what Jesus is teaching that anything anything that is new from heaven that is coming the focus is not on what is coming the focus is on the preparation Ejimi shared that scripture powerfully here. When it was time for them to experience the glory of God, there were conditions. He said, sanctify yourself. One day is not enough. Two days is not enough. Three days is not enough. Prepare yourself. And even at that, when they saw the glory they were preparing for, they said, Moses, you go and just talk with God. Whatever he tells you, tell us. We will listen. Most people are not prepared for what they pray for because the glory of God, listen, is one thing to ask and continue to ask. One of the reasons why the glory of God may elude certain people, the weightiness of his presence, it may be that we continue to desire that the new wine comes upon the old wine skin. And God says, my not giving you is an act of my mercy because there will be a reaction when the new wine comes upon the old wine skin that your condition will be worse than you currently are that means it is possible to dish out revelation and a believer's life starts failing from the day he had that revelation 
it is not only error that destroys there is a dimension of truth you can bring and from the day the believer received it his life begins to go down because the effect of that new wine on his old wine skin creates room for his own destruction this is not a demon this is not satan this is a spiritual reaction jesus is teaching us here so he's giving us a word of caution that if it is true that you need a new wine skin then you must find out the structure when the glory of god was going to rest upon the tabernacle in the old testament at that time the tabernacle was a new wine skin so bezalel and aholiab had to receive from god the blueprint the kind of tabernacle that can host the glory they were praying for are we together now they were never to be left to decide god come read your bible god never comes until the people are prepared by his standards not by their desire not by their cry not by their hunger whenever god wants to come bringing his anointing his grace and all the possibilities contained in him there will be a requirement you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin we're talking about the glory of god here that there is a glory that excels but i'm showing you the technology by which men transit to rise to superior realms every old wine was once a new wine this is what i want you to know no old wine starts as old wine the tabernacle the law was once new wine the tabernacle in the wilderness was once new wine but a day came when god said i'm connecting this story now they were used to the new wine they saw the glory that came with the tabernacle the ark of the covenant they saw the victories that it brought for them now jesus appears and then they are saying jesus if you are from god you must fit into this structure and he says i agree it was one a new wine skin but now i'm bringing in something do you have the flexibility and the unashamedness to restructure and adjust your vessel and sometimes replace it completely so that you can host the new he was speaking to scribes he was speaking to pharisees when they saw his miracles and they saw the things that he did they looked at their structure and wondered why those structures did not host that thing i hope you know god was the one who instituted their structure but god had left their structure once upon a time john was the new wine skin that was being used the theology that John brought was the most current dealing of the spirit John was in the wilderness and God was giving him mysteries until then there was nobody who could stand as anything newer than John Jesus himself testified that of all the prophets no matter what they saw nobody read John's dimension of glory but John was wise when Jesus came he said behold the lamb and John said look I know that with respect to this I have become an old wine skin let me decrease that he will increase are you seeing that technology I decrease this is the vessel that God is pouring his glory and when you look up to him then you are not ashamed john departed and his disciples were offended because at a point they felt john what are you doing you were shining you were the person at the center stage your entire theology was what we built our lives on and right now you are asking us are you trying to say all you have taught us was error and john was trying to say no i'm only showing you that there is another dimension of glory that has come and my structure cannot hold that glory i was a forerunner now that that glory has come follow that glory amazing that john himself didn't follow the glory and not even him was spared john died whereas others were being resurrected there was a provision in a new structure that john could not experience he died in offense he died in pain he died hating jesus he died probing the messiahship of jesus 
the man who ordained Jesus to ministry, the man who caused that his heavens were open, he said, go and ask him, are you the Messiah or should we seek for another? Notice that every time they fought Jesus, they didn't just fight the miracles, they fought the wine skin, the structure. Why are you coming with another pattern? They caught a woman who was in adultery and there was a structure already that when this woman is caught, you don't discuss, you stone her and immediately Jesus looks at them and creates another order. Listen to me. You cannot put new wineskin, new revelation, new anointing, new glory, old structure that does not have the provision to receive it. The question is to sustain the sacrifice and the flexibility that even if it means to tear the old wine to give way, let me tell you that's not as easy as it sounds. That's why we are here tonight. If it was that easy, many people will carry the glory that excels. The hardest part of the coming of the glory is not its arrival. It is the level of stretching that happens to a man to have the new wine skin that makes for the space that this new glory will come upon. That's why we are here. We can, we can shout and jump and say, greater anointing, oh God. Greater this. Do you know that the level of living is not the same? Every level of glory has its rules and conditions. This is it. So we may be born again, but the spiritual levels and the levels of glory that come out of us will have certain rules. Because of the level God has taken you, he will give you a rule that is only applicable to you on earth. No other person. It may not make sense, but that is the price to keep the wine skin new. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less when we know there's more that's found in you i wrote something down here listen that every level of glory has its demands there is a price to pay for every dimension of the glory of god that we seek to have many people think it's just automatic just because jesus died no sir there is a demand for every face and every level of glory The new wine skin is formed when you are willing to subscribe to the terms that make for higher glory. You form the new wine skin by making a decision that Lord, I desire this dimension of your glory. I desire this dimension of your weightiness, your presence upon my life. Now, please listen, listen. Somewhere along this conference, we are going to be doing an impartation but many of us, let me be sincere with you. The reason why so many men of God continue to pray and lay hands on you. And they bless you from their heart. You can go around and say, I met Bishop Oedeko. I met Papa Adeboye. Have you met this? Yes. But nothing in your life reflects the glory. Because there was a repulsion. Their prayer brought the glory, but it met a structure that would not allow it. You see that? You believe that you receive because you fell down. But I'm telling you now that your falling down was not your receiving. Look at the strict condition Elisha went through to carry a mantle. I hope you know it was Elijah that was teaching other people. They were the students in the school of the spirit. Yet it was not enough for them to carry. The, the Bible testifies they were in his school. Think how much of an angry man Elisha was. I won't be surprised that Elijah slapped Elisha was. That kind of tamper that calls fire. Will you want to work with such a person? Once upon a time, Elijah was the new wine skin. And the wine skin kept looking for a replacement. All over, he looked at the entire prophets and none of them had the formation. None, not once. 
and there was a man who kept stretching himself went beyond Gilgal went all through and while that was happening Elijah was watching Elijah continued to frustrate him intentionally and that guy would not be offended look at all the attributes that were preparing him for that mantle then when they crossed beyond Jordan Elijah looks at him and says you are really desperate I, I see the formation you are looking like me now the the kind of alignment I I remember this and I know that you are about to receive something and he says what do you want then the man said sir with all due respect I know where you stopped I went more than that I can take twice you could not take twice your own anointing where you stopped I respect it but my I stretch myself beyond the capacity of that level of grace and he said one more test young man the last test was the test of sight the test of sight not just the test of physical endurance all right you have qualified but one last test if it is true that you stretch the way you claim something should have happened to your eyes and so let me see if you really pass the test because anyone who stretches enough for a double portion something should have happened to his eyes it is impossible to say you have stretched like that and your eyes is still blind therefore my dear son if you can see me as i rise and he looked and suddenly the eyes he said i see you oh my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof listen the anointing came without confusion and he went to jordan he said where is the lord god of elijah he parted it and it parted hither and thither and the moment that happened the prophet saw him and they said the spirit of elijah dot rest on elijah they were so ignorant they didn't even know it was two times it was a double portion graces don't just come anointings don't just come there is a glory that excels listen carefully prosperity does not just come liftings don't just come i tell you the reason why the move of god and the treasures of this kingdom never stay on people it will come for a while and then our lack of structure will fight it and it will go so you find out that churches experience certain moves of the spirit for three weeks strange signs and wonders angelic encounters and then it leaves they never experience it again could this be why sometimes when prophecy comes the results happen slowly and then it lifts because you receive the prophecy it came from heaven but the spiritual formation that will allow it says now arise oh god from where you are we have prepared a structure that will make you feel comfortable whether you are in heaven or you are in solomon's temple now arise oh lord it says come to your resting place this is even how demons work they don't just enter anybody they search for a formation that looks like where they are coming from or better than it so when a demon looked at a man he knows you are not aligned enough for manipulation so it will continue to create systems around your life that tilt you to be aligned enough then it can come was it not in your bible that when a demon leaves a man when it is returning it doesn't return alone it doesn't just return double portion it gathers seven of its kind and comes for many years i wanted to know the mystery behind the very heavy investment of god's presence in others as against others and i gauged it by many parameters and i found out it didn't match I gauge it by many spiritual parameters until I found out that this was the secret. Now arise, O Lord, come to your resting place. That means consistently from heaven, mantles and graces and new levels are searching. They continue to move around every service looking for new wineskins and they may not find wineskins. Here is the answer 
to why men can be in church for many years and someone will just come and receive the person came with hunger he had stretched himself someone else is standing amen 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 and nothing is happening let me tell you my brothers and my sisters i will show you what to do to the wine skin and then you will see the kind of glory and power that will come upon your life my life changed and the grace of God upon my life took another dimension all of these dimensions you see me walking in they were never there I prayed and said Lord what is the secret thank God for impartation but I knew that mm -mm, impartation is the last step to this thing there is a way why did Elijah have to go through this laborious journey with Elisha why There is a huge price for the glory that excels. You want to speak and let things just happen? You want God to touch the hearts of men? No. This thing is not acting, my brothers and my sisters. It is not even just about praying 10 hours. It is not even just about fasting dry fast. There is something that must happen from within. Now arise, O oh Lord, come to your resting place, you and the ark of your might, and then we will rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness, celebrate. I remember some years ago one night I, I will never forget that night I was watching William Branham and tears filled my eyes that night I was so tired I was sleepy but I was watching him and you know the whole documentary on him and I said why do people insult this man you know they make it look like he backslided he left God just because he missed some things here and there there are graces that when you carry I will show you there is you have to ask God to help you stand the heaviness of that grace even you God will have to support you otherwise you will not stand I had a vision I will share with you some visions that I've never shared here during this conference let me finish the William Branham story we're going to pray I remember that night I was looking at this man and for the first time a sense of honor and compassion i said this is an amazing servant of god the humility that came from that man's life versus all the nonsense that ignorant people kept saying i said look at the look at this man of god look at the grace that comes out of this man and something strange happened to me it was like light from my laptop something cold just rested on my head gradually I didn't used to walk in the prophetic here and there maybe word of knowledge this and that here and there and something cold gradually it took more than 30 minutes it was entering me the next meeting I went to it was like a shock that was when I started seeing angelic presence like lights like ribbons and I said what is this that I'm seeing let me tell you mantles are still looking for men the problem is that there are too many old wineskins structures that refuse to bend structures that refuse to adjust one day i kept praying i wrote the names of certain fathers of faith that i was praying that god would put upon me the grace that he put upon them and then i had a dream in that dream i was in canaan land i think then okay they just a few years after they had built uh let's see no i'm not sure it was more than it wasn't yet up to 10 years since they built the the auditorium there and then i found myself preaching and just like the stage here i was standing you have to just keep your toe just the tip of your toe that's how you stand to preach and the stage was shaking and i couldn't stand well and I said, is this how these guys stand to preach? That's what I saw in that vision. That means all you see is not just standing on stage. 
many people are standing on there are weights there are gracious people carry that the moment you talk about them in the secret that grace was designed because of the weightiness there are extra privileges that come with it you will find out that your heavens will close alone in the secret no demonic assistance just because of the weightiness of it it is true my brothers and my sisters that even among the stars one different from another in glory in glory this that looks small is a deep spiritual secret it's possible to remain at the same level and god sees that you are better off at that level but if it is the glory that excels that you want to receive a dimension of his weightiness you want to add weight to your spiritual life the requirement is not just prayer the requirement is not just bible study i'm going to show you the requirement turn with me please very quickly to second corinthians chapter 4 many of you have not been trained to have regard for the glory of god that comes upon men second corinthians chapter 4 from verse 17 please for our light affliction which is but for a moment what is the affliction doing walk it for us stop stop there is a raw material that trains men the bible calls it affliction i know you don't <laughs> for this hammer that i use walk it in me this vessel that affliction is like a hammer that can chisel a man he may not know what is happening but there is a a, a formation happening our light affliction apostle paul is writing that walk it for us a what i told you there is a glory that excels if it is that weight of glory you want there is a dimension of affliction that the bible says it is a tool that is used you don't like the nice message i know <laughs> hmm. what do you think makes god to have a covenant with a man not old testament not new testament what do you think empowers that you make a statement and god just honors you reading the bible just praying in the night no sir no sir there are secrets one of them is your volunteering to affliction it was it didn't it say i bear in my he said let no man trouble me i carry a glory that excels and here are the scars that show for it let no demon resist me because i carry a glory that excels and here is the scar that shows you want to be an envoy of his presence you want to host the glory of god you want to host the power of god let me tell you there are some sacrifices if you make in the kingdom god will not allow you make other kinds again forever it is true it is true sir there are men and women because of the sacrifice they've had with god god will never allow them to learn about money again in this life it will never happen it's an exemption for them because of what there is an accreditation that happened in that place of pain I always wondered why so many people broke certain principles that I knew that made for certain results and then it looks like life will punish everybody and jump them life will punish everybody and jump them and I said why and God said I am just find out they paid an equivalent of that sacrifice already it is true my brothers and my sisters it is true there is a glory that excels but the bible says for our light affliction 
which is but for a moment worked in us a far more exceeding weight of glory next verse it says while we look not at the things what are the things the afflictions the things that are seen but the things that are unseen it says for the things that are seen are temporal temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal romans chapter 8 from verse 18 for i reckon that the sufferings you know this is paul writing i hope you know it was the same paul that wrote to third of the new testament when paul says i glory in my affliction now you understand what he was saying how do you glory in affliction believers tell me how you glory in affliction that a man is in chains and bonds and he calls it glory I wish what I were telling you were not true was it not because of what Mary was going to carry that all the trouble came upon her life Mary was an innocent virgin for God's sake minding her business and here comes this young carpenter you just ask her out all of a sudden an angel comes and says Mary there is something we are, we are looking for who can carry it we have been searching other women and they refused probably some had the dream and they casted it mm, leave me i want peace in my life and here comes mary let me tell you if everyone were available the angel will not come it looked like gabriel had been searching and finally he says let me try this one we bring you salutation of great joy and she wondered what salutation he said this is what will happen to you and then the woman says be it unto me she thought she was saying let me be pregnant no the process that will allow me to carry the word for nine months be it unto me from that day mary got in trouble to the point that joseph was saying madam i don't know what is it that happened between you and this ghost i don't know which rabbi you are calling an angel but i i won't embarrass you but me i'm going what happens when things start going down and it started the day god spoke to you you were minding your business and it looked like you were better off the day a voice came you will be a mighty man of god from that day your life it looks like god what i was minding myself i was living a happy quiet wonderful life then you go to lie down and sleep and you are seeing a generation and you say god please leave my peace i want my plan is to live a nice life ah. this is the price for carrying the burden of a generation king of kings lord of lords faithful and true lamb of god we worship King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. I preached a message years ago called the fullness of affliction. And several people said all kinds of things against the message and I said, oh dear. God has an economy. God has a non-negotiable system. This is the reason why he loves everybody, but not everybody carries the same weight of glory. My brothers and my sisters, the glory of God upon a man is not dependent on his predeterminate counsel. It's how much you are willing to be stretched until you are reformed. Like the potter, sometimes you will need to smash that clay again and start building. You built it before into a vessel and then you will smash it back and that clay is you. Hallelujah. It's a very, very huge sacrifice to carry the glory of God. The weightiness of His presence. Most times we admire the results that we see 
but let me tell you my brothers and my sisters behind the veil what you see there is the blood and the tears that came with lifting this weight it's a heavy weight a far more exceeding weight of glory a far more exceeding weight of glory hallelujah that you speak to a man and his life does not change you go back to god and say lord why now i spoke and god says no there is a glory level there is there not every part of the mountain delivers the same result it says who shall ascend to the hill of the lord it's a journey if an aircraft will not keep you at the top of the hill you will walk there were five thousand men aside women and children who climbed up the mountain and they were privy to hear certain things that others did not hear the way to the throne is the cross the way to the throne is the cross you will never get to the throne ignoring the cross the only ladder that you will use to climb the throne of destiny is the cross where God will give you a governmental grace to speak over nations you become Beulah and Hephzibah the desire of nations notice in the parable of the talents do you know the real blessing that happened to them it was not well done good and fit. i used to think he was well done good and faithful servant until one day the spirit of the lord says study it and i found out well done good and faithful servant was a pattern of their back certain portions were up, were given to them territorial influences that was the blessing the labor of doing something with what they were given qualified them for these dimensions at every level at every level please listen to me carefully at every level there is a demand there is a level of sacrifice there is a level of real sacrifice that makes for certain glories but Paul said compared to the glory that that level delivers the sacrifice can be called a light affliction second Corinthians chapter 3 we are going to pray from verse 9 and 10 it says for if the ministration of condemnation talking about the law now carried some glory in it he said much more doth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory next verse he says for even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excels that there is a level you can walk with god my brothers and my sisters and through this sacrifice of remolding yourself to become a new wine skin that god will put a dimension of his glory that when you look back what you used to call glory that it is not glory in this respect a level of signs and wonders a level of the performance of god's word a level of increase and grace a level of prosperity the wealth of the kingdom a level of spiritual illumination it comes by that track record of pain and sacrifice sacrifice the weightiness of god's glory finding vessels that can fit it the weightiness of god's power finding vessels that can receive it the weightiness of the spirit of revelation finding men there are times that it comes close and you fall it you can't even host it first and then it goes back waiting for you to truly become that vessel it says but we all like living stones we are being chiseled and built into a spiritual house a house that can host god 
there are many things in my life today I would have prayed for for so long to come but sometimes just a desire in my heart is enough to bring it the secret is that when you contend for the glory that excels please hear me if you're a man of God here hear me twice what we call ministry now in the next five years many people will be frustrated because there are people pressing into these dimensions genuinely there are people that desire tangibility substance of the spirit they are the ones who will become the desire of nations and many others will pale and fade in glory this is not backsliding this is that God has begun something is a new order and like John the Baptist and like the scribes you may scrounge around for relevance but the light now is on Jesus the question therefore is are you willing to subscribe to the demands demands of lifestyle demands of covenant listen it will cost you everything the price for all of God is all of you let me say it again the price for all of God is all of you write it media let the word lend this the price for God's head is not all of you the price for God's hand is not all of you the price for God's heart and all of him is all of you that's why we can see certain dimensions you just want the wisdom of God or some dimensions of his creativity but not all of him if you want to host God then all of you must be beaten like the potter with the clay it's not a gospel that many people like nobody likes suffering nobody likes affliction we were not designed that way that's why it's a sacrifice there is a glory that excels but it will come upon vessels that have been worked on changed he says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty then it says we all with unveiled face beholding him as in a glass we are changed you know it looks like once you are just looking you are being changed ask elijah it was not just looking like it was saying there is a dynamics of death that works in you so that life will work in other people let me tell you this 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 thing i'm teaching you is a is a master mystery even in the occult and those who practice all of these things they are the level of glory in quote if i will use that word is corresponding to their, the level of tremendous sacrifice i remember reading a book about a, a somebody who would receive some kind of strange power and the condition was to fast non-stop for 150 days if you miss one day you start afresh you don't continue you fast to a point that you don't know whether you have eaten or not there is your body has lost the ability to tell you whether you are full or you are hungry so god will want to take you to certain realms and god will now say oh pastor alpha because of what i'm about to do for the next five months i will need every 12 to 3 a.m of your time not three to five regardless of what the event is the demand is 12 o'clock to 3 the next six months think about it if you are interested let me know you will be free from 9 to 11 that's not the timing God gave you you will even be free from 4 till forever you will find out that you will be so tired by 11 45 you don't know if you are standing or sitting but you remember that our light affliction you may look stupid see it's difficult to do these things when you have people that love you they will pity you too much to allow you continue the pain of what you go through it will attract their sympathy that's why abraham told the servants wait here i have to go alone with my sacrifice if those servants were on the mountain they will fight abraham and bring isaac down there are certain things when god wants to do in your life 
you you will have to agree with him that you will be alone in this so that he can do with you what he wants because the innocence and the humanity of men sometimes will interrupt the process if you're married and you see your husband eating once a week and acting like a strange man one day you will be tired you will close the door and sit down there and start crying and whether he's, he's serious with God or not the compassion that comes from that union will make him say God whatever it is please let me just let me just let me just subscribe to the demands of my wife what do you think made John the greatest prophet have you studied John's life how much of his life was in public view look at how John was born from that time at least for Jesus we saw what happened the first 12 years what happened to the next 18 years of Jesus is something you should find out because the Bible does not tell us any other thing again about Jesus from age 12 until 30 we see a man coming what happened for those 18 years what happened to the 19 years of Paul in the wilderness of Arabia what happened to the 40 years of Moses at the backside of the mountain let me show you that this is consistent with men who carry glory it is not new it didn't start now are we together John the Baptist the Bible just shows us that there is an adult in the wilderness who was given a, a what I would call a wicked prescription there was meat those days there was fish those days there was wine those days but he dressed in camel skin and then he was in the wilderness and the only food that he was allowed to eat was locusts and wild honey was he not the prophet that was told to sleep on one side for one year i don't know if you don't read your bibles did you read about the prophet who ate animal dung for one year I tell you why our generation is powerless we are noisy people but there's no power this is it we hate the sacrificial dimension that brings the glory let him that glory and glory in this that he knoweth me he understands my way and because of his subscribing to my patterns he can carry a glory that is greater than the glory of the wise greater than the glory of the strong greater than the glory of the rich there are men let me tell you i believe that there are people who will open up their hearts and say lord i am willing let's go this journey i am willing i am willing you know most times we sing songs of surrender and we just sing them as special numbers i want you now to think because god answers those prayers use me oh god i'm available and god says i'm listening keep talking do with me anything you want to do uh, have you had that kind of prayer god says thank you this is all i've been asking you it's a dangerous prayer to say do with me what you want it's even dangerous to sing it do with me what you want do with me what you want you study the scapegoat that was taken malhandled and taken everywhere he was led like a sheep to the slaughter do with me what you want lord my life is yours do with me what you want and god says okay i look at you and i need to chisel here and here can i go on and you say lord i've said do with me what you want the first hammer touching you you say god is this it no i changed my mind is it by force i'm already born again god says it's not by force but then the glory you seek do not be angry when you see it on another person so many men of god can be here but there is glory that excels corresponding to the spiritual sacrifices let me tell you this is a non-negotiable condition there are cups you don't pray to pass you you obtain the grace to drink them he said grant that 
you know when you have conquered caesar etc etc let me sit at your left and right the mother of james and john was asking jesus didn't say there is no vacancy he said you want to sit close to me here is the condition one can you drink of my cup internal and can you be baptized with my baptism the woman didn't answer it for the children john would later answer it and he paid for it he really did he was at the isle of patmos but that guy had so pressed into these things that hot oil had no effect on him and Peronero said, what do we do with this guy now? We have tried to roast him in oil. It didn't work. And they banished him to an isle called Patmos. These are the men, the Bible says, the earth is not worthy of. There is a reason why the earth is not worthy. They walk sometimes like fugitives and vagabonds, looking for a city whose builder and maker is the Lord. They so pressed into these things for some of them, life made no sense again. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Say, take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. I thought Jesus, being the Son of God, Jakes, should should exempt him from this pattern why will the son of god be in the wilderness talk to me believers the son of god left heaven born of the spirit it didn't change the pattern as soon as jesus came out of the water it was not a demon that drove him there are many times what drives you to that wilderness is not always satan the spirit didn't speak he drove him to the wilderness notice that every time these men were in these places they were alone it's not a corporate thing it's not a husband and wife thing it's not a classmate it's not a roommate thing it is you and god and your destiny this is the price it takes to be trusted with the keys of a generation this is the price it takes to become the face of god to a generation it's not by voting it's not by popularity census. It's not by likes and shares. It's a testament of a sacrifice in the spirit. Known by both God and demons. Believers, either we are just playing games and we truly do not desire to be the carriers of this glory. Or someone here will be willing to pray. Listen, let me tell you. You would think the sacrifice to host God's glory is hard until you see the alternative. The alternative is a miserable life of guessing left, right, and center with your destiny shattered and you are, you are a victim of just anything. Jesus paid the price once and he was ready. By this time, many years ago, Jesus was in hell hellfire jesus hellfire jesus hades the place of the dead and the father was watching and all these demons were upon their own creator the word of god that proceeded ah but though weeping endures for a night one thing i know is that affliction does not remain forever it has an expiry date when the legal claims of justice were made paul reveals to us by the spirit that jesus made a public show of them triumphing over them and one of the things he got in hell so there can be keys in hell and you will need to go down to hell to get some keys
sometimes you will need to go down to come up with keys jesus descended before he ascended so you will rise up by going down are we together now and he collected the keys and in revelations he said i am he that was dead but now i am alive and i hold the keys the coronation service only happened when he went through this we are going to pray tonight there is a glory that excels i bring you a very powerful mystery the glory that excels romans chapter 12 and verse 1 i beseech thee brethren who is he talking to brethren not unbelievers i beseech thee brethren by the mercies of god that you do what offer offer your bodies as a not a sacrifice a living sacrifice let me tell you what that means a sacrifice that remains a sacrifice when a sacrifice dies it stops being a sacrifice it's over the real sacrifice was the life of that object so when the life goes there's no more sacrifice it is the process of extracting life from that thing that is the sacrifice now he says you are a sacrifice you are alive but it's a posture you will continue to take holy and acceptable unto god and he says it's your reasonable act of worship i have found this key from the day i found this key i stopped being afraid of pain i stopped being afraid of sacrifice i became friends with it and i found out that in that darkness that's where light comes from god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness not into darkness out of darkness darkness is the mother that gives birth to light and the evening came and the morning and the evening came and the morning let me encourage you listen to me listen to me very carefully be careful so that you don't judge things from the standpoint of men there are certain things that you may be passing through that you may think these things are happening just because of unbelief i told you that faith doesn't always receive it also takes faith to release you lose things too by faith by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice there were women who their children died and instead of them to raise them back they said no problem let them go and the bible calls it faith read it it's not everybody who brought their child back to life that were called men of faith others died do you know why plants grow because they subscribe to this same principle death and glory when you carry a seed and throw it on the earth what happens you studied agri what happens the life is in the death jakes you come back after two days if you open it you will see that there is no more beauty there is no beauty in the grave there is no comeliness there is only the death that brings resurrection and notice what happens the first thing that happens is some process of decay and even degradation and then out of the rottenness it begins to open its deshaping as bad as it is it's making room for something new and sometimes it can be so bad that part of the old one will come out too with a new one and you can look at it and know this is the dead seed and this is the one that grows I wish I can tell you the glory of God comes just by speaking and saying receive grace there are you want to be given the keys of a nation my brother and my sister there is a track record there is a scar there is a testament of death that must happen 
I presume we are going to pray tonight because it looks like we are in a funeral service. You know what you do in a funeral service? You dig the ground and you carry the dead body and throw it in. But when you throw the body in the funeral service, you don't expect it to come out. But what we are engaging tonight is a mystery. That when you are thrown in the grave, then you are ready to come out. After a few days of silence, suddenly, suddenly, you begin to shoot against gravity with another life. And that small, tiny seed will now become a tree that birds will come and nest. They will be grateful that you paid the price. Every food you eat today is because a seed volunteered to die. Listen to me carefully. If seeds stop dying, you stop rising too. The reason why we continue to live is because there are seeds that are dying. They died last year. The moment rain starts falling. Isn't it amazing that when rain starts falling, that's the right time for the seed to die. Seeds die during rain. Rain that should give life. But that's when seeds die. And then life comes from it. We're going to pray. In the next 10 minutes, it's going to be a general prayer before I lead you. Find whatever corner outside. This is you and God. Just play worship for us. And you're going to say, Lord, the death that must turn me into a new wineskin. Let it happen to me tonight. The death that must happen, oh God, for the glory that this generation is waiting for. Don't be afraid. The sacrifice. Lord, you are calling me to be a prophet to the nations. But there is a level of death. Pray. This is between you and God. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy love. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy love. Pray. 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 Era ba she na na ma she na 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 na, era na na he na 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 he na 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 de. Lera sabaru shalis kamanda brati gala shobras kadi alhasa. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. But whoever loses it for my sake will gain it. We gain things in this kingdom by losing them. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. 
Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Are there people praying tonight? Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Walk through me. Yeah. Live through me. Oh, come with the refiner's fire. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. As the deer pants after the water brook, find a generation, my king. Find a generation that desires you more than life, more than wisdom, more than money, more than power. Find for yourself a bride adorned in her beauty. everything turn me oh god to the wine skin that will host your power in this generation turn me oh god to the wine skin that will host the end time anointing for miracles for wealth for signs for wonders Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komi na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, 
Two or three more minutes. But in a great house, there are vessels of gold and of silver, of wood and of clay. Some are unto honor and others are unto dishonor. belongs to you hey oh me na na kane yeshua hamashiga yeshua hamashiga yeshua hamashiga Yeshua, 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 You see, my brothers and my sisters, one of the assignments of fire the primary purpose of fire was not just for demons it was for the saints it is the fire of the holy spirit it's not just holy ghost fire demons the fire not only refines not only purifies it can melt completely and then remold again it is not every time the fire comes to just purify sometimes that whole vessel needs to melt down for something new to come it is not every time god comes to adjust the old sometimes he comes to immerse you into his fire then remold you as something that has never been before Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Komina Nakane I'd like you tonight to pray Lord whatever took your place in my life please return to your resting place is someone praying tonight I don't know how it got there but 
in this season arise majesty return to your resting place arise my god return to your place of rest Yeshua, Hamashiach, Kumi na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, For some of us, is friends. Some of us is the obsession to succeed. Some of us is the obsession to be in ministry. Whatever has taken its place. Please dethrone it this night. Dethrone it this night. Emana balama satara balia ena 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 na. For some of us, it's money that took its place. Reputation, ego, revelation, the quest for the anointing. In this season, let me tell you, the new wine of the spirit is moving from nation to nation, from continent to continent, finding the vessels that have the space. There are all kinds of mantles, graces that have not been seen before, but they are searching for a new wine skin. You cannot put new wine in an old wine skin you cannot put a new prophetic wine in an old prophetic wine skin a new apostolic wine in an old apostolic wine skin a new territorial wine in an old territorial wine skin let us leave the old and press for the new press for the new press for the new pray just one more minute and then we'll pray corporately that's why we came tonight without new wine you cannot have the new songs without new wine you cannot have the new sermons you will keep recycling the old copying from man of God to man of God it will take new wine to understand the rhythm of the spirit Yeshua. hallelujah praise the lord listen to me we have a few more minutes just a few minutes and then we'll stop acts chapter 26 and verse 22 there are times in your life listen where because of the kind of glory that is coming no matter how you release yourself you will still not have the capacity you will need to cry for an assistance from heaven it says having therefore obtained help of god i continue unto this day the reason i'm still standing from glory to glory i saturated my effort at a point but having obtained help from god i continue to this day having obtained help from god in the apostolic ministry in the prophetic ministry in the pursuit to bring the wealth of the kingdom to the saints in the pursuit to doing this and that whatever it is there are times when you stretch yourself to the limit and it still cannot make for the size of the glory 
you will need to turn to the helper of zion it says having therefore obtained help of god i continue it takes the help of god to keep going there are times you will reach your elastic limit you will stretch and break to pieces you will still not meet god's standard is someone ready to cry for help from heaven lord assist me assist me let 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 the divine help the alignment it will take to command the wealth of the kingdom in this season lord assist me there is only so much i can do the alignment that will be required to carry the apostolic and the prophetic grace i cry for help having obtained help from god i continue god is the helper of men god can help you he can help you rise he can help you stand he can help you reign he can help you conquer he has not stopped being the helper the holy spirit is called the helper hallelujah hallelujah please pair yourselves in twos if you can just hold someone those under the anointing or just alone just leave them but hold your hands you are going to cry to heaven agreeing with that person say lord a superior realm of results a new dimension of grace glory that is all encompassing i receive it agree 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 with somebody pray outside pray those online pray this is the season oh god of the glory that excels in ministry in business the glory that excels the glory that excels the weightiness, the desirability that excels, that I become the desire of nations, I become the desire of kings. Please pray. Shekete kete kete, el braga do la baruta sekete, e koto 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 bash, em braga tu zasiana kata. Rapa papa ruto totosh endere ketosh kelebash rakata paruto shobregede prato sosidabiash e prakato sesekata from baruta sobregede baladaba em prokoto shekete lebarash hallelujah hallelujah Psalm 45, verse 12. I believe it is. The Lord just put it in my heart. This is the level that God is taking us to. I hope you remember the teaching I did about Tyre and Sidon. The marketplace of the earth. Where the exchange is made. It says, and the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. He says, even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. There is an investment of the spirit that comes upon your life. Listen, I want to show you how this relates to extraordinary fruitfulness. There are realms where you will not beg and search for. Your sacrifice and your investment will cause nobles to come with what you would have looked for. The daughter of Tyre will come with a gift. The gift you would have been searching for. And then the rich among the people, not the poor. There is a grace because you left looking for the glory of wealth to seek his face. He will cause those who have the glory of the wealth to come to entreat your favor. 
listen that means wealth is not favor because there is a favor that even the rich are looking for what is it they are not coming to just look at you there is something money cannot buy the rich will entreat your favor they will come to you and it will be a privilege to give them audience i like you to pray and say lord on account of the glory you are putting upon my life even in this season let the daughter of tyre begin to come with her gift and let the kings of these systems come with their treasures to entreat my favor please lift your voice and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding because i have subscribed to the glory that comes from your face not the glory that comes from wealth not the glory that comes from human wisdom not the glory that comes from human might the glory that comes from knowing you let the daughter of tyre come with her gift let the nobles of the earth begin to entreat my favor pray for koinonia in this season kings coming to entreat your favor hallelujah the bible says that a time will come when seven virgins it was a prophetic statement seven virgins will hold on to one man that spiritual jew they are not holding on to him just because he's handsome there is something that the tribe he comes from carries and seven dimensions that have not been seen come to you and say we want to be part of your life we want to be featured in your destiny such a force of attraction such a force of attraction dimensions that have never been seen they will come and latch on to you father whatever is for me in this season by the grace you are putting on my life it must be attracted to me in this season lift your voice and pray like a believer you are placing an anointing you are placing a grace and a glory you are my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory you are my glory you are my inheritance hallelujah hallelujah time will fail me to share with you the testimonies of the level of ease that your life will step into when you truly carry the glory of God the glory of God is a voice it can speak it can speak to kings that the things you once desired will come to you at a platter because his glory is upon you he says arise shine for your light has come not just that the glory of the lord is risen upon you the glory that excels this is the glory that will humble the arrogance of the kings of the earth if all you look for is money you will be like them if all you look for is human scientific wisdom you will be like them if all you look for is human systems of fortification but press for his face understand his ways and let him invest upon you a glory that excels and you will watch with wonder the way God will draw glory out of your life. 
there are new and strange kinds of anointings that are coming upon the body of Christ there are new and strange dimensions of the workings of the spirit as has never been seen the times and the seasons already signify it and our own is just to say Maranatha come Lord come with all of these things come come the body of Christ is stepping into certain offices certain levels of spiritual possibilities that Micah 4 prophecy of the church ascending we will humble the pride of kings the church is not a nuisance to civilization no God is giving us a voice that cannot be silenced a voice that not the rich will ignore the poor will not ignore politicians will not ignore but our price is to become the new wine skin that can carry that new wine and when the new wine finds a resting place then there is no limit to what you can do let me round up when the feast was about to finish and Jesus turned water to wine the first to taste of that wine were the rulers of the ceremony listen carefully that wine was not designed for the general congregation the wine was a statement and so the attention of the kings they were the first to taste of the wine all other kinds of wines could be taken by everyone but the kings took it and they said where did you get this people bring the best at the beginning but you have saved the last that means the investment that God is giving us is to subdue the gatekeepers of territories not just for things common no the gatekeepers of territories access to the heart of nobles because one 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 madman in Gadara listen one madman in Gadara is equivalent to 10 cities we don't have the time again to go one by one to every city no God will be giving us the madman in Gadara and the woman by the well God is will use one person like an arrow from a man's quiver and hit nations with it that's what God is doing listen to me and hear what I'm saying again prophetically it will no longer be one by one go to this there's no time for that again so he will give us a grace one grace that can touch a voice that will make all other voices hear him that's territorial dominion it no longer will be people one by one it's a waste of time he will be taking us to the madmen at Gadara for the sake of the Decapolis he will be taking us to the women at the well for the sake of all who will come with her all those who have the voice of systems God will send us to them that is why we need a glory that is higher than what they have otherwise they will not hear the word of the Lord upon you it was Nicodemus that came to Jesus by night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man not i know not i know not i know meaning that we have been watching you and we have seen that even though we don't have this we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things the mountain of the lord's house it will look like a dream until you see it happening until you see that God gives you the heart of kings and then you plant the seed of righteousness that in one day a nation can be saved because their kings are saved was it not in one day Nebuchadnezzar signed a decree 
and said everywhere across babylon let the god of shadrach meshach and abednego that anyone who does not worship that god should be killed there are spectacular things that god will do to men that will change men i'm available oh. i don't know about you but my heart is listen let me tell you the truth and i sincerely tell you this the concept of church as we know it is changing fast it will no longer just be a man of god and plenty people just no 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 it's going to be the level of access to territories that god will give you keys to territories men who will walk like gods upon the earth that you will speak and both your members and your non-members will be forced to hear because of what you hold this is what god is giving please i like you to be sensitive these seven days don't be casual we're we're at the edge of the unfolding of a new move of god it's like a boiling pot that is already tilting and god is doing something very prophetic and very apostolic i will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about i lay me down and i slept i waked for the lord sustains me but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. tonight God is calling on us everybody listen to me inside and outside would you make God a priority win the war in your heart this night and let God become your priority what is it that has taken his place I know you are sick in your body but tonight there are women here there are mothers there are people here fathers you saw the glory of God in the days of your youth. But the pain of Nigeria has drifted a lot of people away from God. For me to leave God is death. He has become my obsession. Has nothing to do with ministry. You love God. But if that guy should stand side by side with God, you will choose him. hallelujah i want you to see the power of god we are going to soon stand up and we'll have a few minutes of prayer and worship and we'll just let god i tell you there will be a mighty visitation in this place tonight the lord told me this there will be a mighty visitation hallelujah but the lord is calling you he's calling you deeper Deeper, deeper, deeper. He's calling you deeper, 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 deeper. He's calling you deeper, deeper, deeper. Hallelujah. Where is God? MOG. Where is God in your ministry? Somewhere behind. While ministry programs and conferences and conventions have taken his place. Businessman and woman, where is God in the equation of your life? 
prospective husband and wife where is God in the equation of your life students where did you keep God this is chem 3 1 something sociology something something this and that and Jesus Christ is somewhere roaming around needed like a herbalist when the going is tough and then you return him back tonight may an addiction for the things of God come upon your life please listen to me this is the realm that when you walk in no power in existence can prevail over you challenges are okay defeat is unusual for a Christian Hallelujah. Many of us have come here tonight because you are hungry. Some of us have come because we are at the end of our road. Someone just invited you and said you have tried everywhere. You've gone to Zaria City. You've done everything. Why don't you just come to God? And you dragged yourself here and said, well, Lord, let's see what happens. I tell you, you are in for a shock tonight. God will beat you above and beyond your expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless you guys. Rise up on your feet, everybody. We are going to pray. Just two prayer points. And then we'll worship. Lift your hands and lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Take everything, oh God. Come on, pray now, everybody. Take everything. Take everything. My life belongs to you. Take the talent, oh God. Take the talent. Take the gift. Take everything. Pray from the depths of your heart and say, Lord, in any way, in any way, I have allowed other things to take your place in my life. Tonight I repent. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. Pray from the depths of your heart. Many of us have never given our hearts to the Lord. You've gone to church. You have a Christian name. But you've never given your heart to the Lord. It's not enough to see power. It's not enough to see miracles. Hallelujah. I'm going to make a very serious altar call right now. I don't want you to sit down thinking about it. Because I know there are people. There are people here tonight. Inside and outside. Probably you followed someone and you came. Probably you are struggling with a sickness or a terminal disease. The doctor has given you the letter and said you have a few months to live. It all starts with Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. There are two sets of people I'm going to call. And they will all come at once. Those who have never made a decision. Don't deceive yourself tonight. I don't care whether you are a pastor, whether you are a pope. You've never given your heart to Jesus. To say, Lord, I, I surrender my life truly. And then there's the second category. Those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of lying to myself. I know that this thing I'm doing is not Christianity. I need a fresh start. People have told me it's alright. I want to make my way right. Yes, you have come out once. You even prayed for. You even fell down under the anointing. But you are saying, Lord, I'm rededicating my life tonight. Those two categories of people, as I, as I count one to ten, I'd like you to run like you are running away from fire. Right now, inside and outside. One. Two. Run like you are running for escape. Run like like there is fire burning and it's a matter of urgency. 
Forget about your friends. Forget about who is looking at you. Or who is not looking at you. This is the key to a glorious destiny. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have done. I don't care who is castigating you. Jesus is ready to give you a new beginning tonight. Everything I give to you with holding nothing. Don't sit back there when the Holy Ghost is asking you to come out. God is still telling me that he's talking to people. God is still speaking to people. Many people inside. Many people outside. Forget about your friend. This is a destiny decision. I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Everything. Those of you in front here, begin to open up your heart to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Cry out your heart. Say, Lord, enough is enough. With holy nothing. Come on, sing it one more time. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. With holding nothing. With holding nothing. Will you give your heart away? That's what God is asking you to. Those of you in front. Will you give your life away? So he can use you. Will you give your life away? Will you give your life away? So he can use me. Lord, I give myself away. Pray. Don't let your tears stop you. You may cry, but pray. So he. One more time, everyone. I give myself away. I see some of you crying. I see some of you under heavy demonic oppressions. But let me tell you, this is the best decision you have made tonight. It's never too late to start. I don't care what you have done. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. I want you to know, those of you here, it is never too late with the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He won the victory. He gave you the victory on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. There are many things happening in your life. And the solution is not to go and try to solve it some other way. You must make up your mind and say from today. Hallelujah. You must be determined from your heart. That's how it starts. Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on worship with me Hallelujah You've won it all for me You have won it all for me just that part, one more time. Hallelujah. 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 You have won the victory.
lift your hands those of you in front i'm about to lead you to a very serious prayer you're not reciting a poem we are about to depopulate the kingdom of hell right now never forget this day for as long as you live some of you are rededicating your lives some of you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time i don't care what category say after me lord jesus i believe in you i surrender my life to you i repent of my old ways i accept the free gift of eternal life i receive it in my spirit and i declare that jesus is lord of my life from today i go forward ever and backward never satan stay away from my life i've made my choice jesus is my savior i've made my choice jesus is my lord father preserve these ones in the name of the lord jesus let this not be an emotional decision let it be a sincere decision from the depths of your heart and i break the power of sin over your life the weight that doth easily beset you i crush it right now in the name of jesus i release you the righteousness of god is at work in your life and for those of you who have come sick i like you to relax and watch the mighty one step into your life hallelujah now in one minute you will come back we're about to start the healing session right now so please just walk this way follow the ushers they'll just have your details and you come back quickly and join us in the service celebrate them everybody <laughs> celebrate them koinonia young and old alike lift your hands everybody and say visit me visit me visit me pray in one minute everyone lift your hands and say lord the time has come i'm tired of this sickness the time has come i need a prophetic word that will take me to the next level of my life please pray pray and say lord visit me visit me please ushers be fast with them be fast with them so that they can return back everyone begin to pray in the holy ghost just begin to pray in one minute Hallelujah. 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 There is nothing we can do without you. Jesus, reveal yourself in a mighty way. Let the sick be healed, O oh God. So many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles breakthroughs, marriages, jobs, healings and deliverances. Lord, we thank you for that which you will be doing. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sorry about the congestion um, protocol and ushers. Please walk together to make everything fast. Hallelujah. Before we start the healing session, I just want to do something very quickly. It's Mike's birthday. Come here, Mike. Hallelujah.
I told him I was going to give him a surprise. Hallelujah. Celebrate him. A lovely music director. Hallelujah. Mike, we love you. God bless you. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Ask the Lord to make him better than he is. Very faithful worker. Pray and bless him. We speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will never be small. We speak over your life. You will do mighty things. Because of you, the worship team will step into a greater dimension. Hallelujah. I hear in my spirit greatness, greatness, greatness. The Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness. This new season is a greatness, is a, is a level of greatness and prosperity. You will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you. The Lord is determined to do it. Bless his hands, O God. May this be so in his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands. The power of God is strong in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Visit us, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my God, help me. Just play the keyboard for me. And then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way. Instrumentalist, let's work together now. Hallelujah. Please hurry up as soon as you get down your name. Just return. There will be a very mighty impartation in this place. Hallelujah. Not deliverance, impartation. God is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people. It's going to be a wildfire of the spirit. Hallelujah. Strings, please. Exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord. I see the Lord. For my eyes have seen the King. He's the Lamb upon the throne. Please, everyone, lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen. Listen, please. The Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing are in this place this is a very very prophetic moment now the lord is going to be moving from inside and outside and he's going to be separating certain people this is not deliverance although that can happen this is a heavy impartation the weight of god is about to mantle people in very strong ways hallelujah please lift your hands
Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, all those who belong to this category, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. My God, Lord, at the count of three, let there be a wild move of the Spirit. One, two, three, shekete, rekete, tekete, no kompreteskete, lekete, rebos, outside. Bring them out. Bring them out. Touch an impartation of fire. Let there be a separation. Separate them, O oh God. Separate them, O oh God. Outside, the power of God is falling now. Outside, is hitting men right now. Like a tornado. Outside, outside. There are angels outside. The power of God is falling like a wildfire. A separation, a separation. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's a separation, a wild fire. Let it engulf them, oh God. Let it burn. Let the coal from the throne. Let the call from the throne. Let it come upon visitors. Lord, those who are visiting in Koinonia, may they take the fire now. May the visitors take the fire now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So te 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 la ba 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 ba. There are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow at the back. The overflow at the back outside. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up yeah, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up, come on. There's an army. They will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Lift your hands. God is not done yet. I told you there will be a visitation. Listen, at the count of three, many people will enter visionary experiences. Right now, vision, vision. One, two, three, take it, take it. Vision, vision, take it, take it. Vision, I open up prophetic realms. Take it, take it. Vision, vision, vision. Step into realms. Of vision, prophecy, vision, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions, visions. Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. 
In this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row, now, now, this row. Take it, 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 take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. To break every chain. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. A protoscope break it, break it. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposketeta. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. They will break every chain, break every chain, they will break every chain. There is a road that the power of God is moving outside. There is a road outside. It will start with a lady. There is a lady right now under the power of God and it will follow to that road. Open the floodgates of heaven, O oh God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto prete kete teta. Repete kete tete ba. Som prete kete la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Sarah, 
the Lord is giving me the name of someone, Sarah. Sarah. Just leave them, don't worry. Don't, don't scatter what God is doing. Hallelujah. God is bringing deliverance to your family. Hold my hands. It ends now. Now! 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 Be delivered. I cast that devil. I cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We will have a visitation tonight. Lift your hands. I want to cause spirits that are responsible for marital delay. Every spirit wife, every spirit husband, many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you. Some of you are already out. You came out for impartation. Lift your hands. At the count of three, the fire of the spirit will be separating men. Every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three. I want you to shout the name Jesus. Lord, as they shout Jesus, I expose every devil and it leaves them forever. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Now. I cause spirits. I cause spirits. Marital delay. I cause spirits. Every marital delay. I cause you. I open doors of marriages now. Doors of marriage be open. Every spell. Every enchantment. Every act of divination right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire now. I challenge altars, I challenge thrones, I challenge spells. We break every chain, we break every chain. We break every chain. We break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Let her go now. Go. Let her go now. Go. Be free. Lay your hands on your stomach. God is setting you free. The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. He's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, is lift your hands where you are. 
visit her now oh god now by the power of the holy ghost i cast that wicked spirit in the name of jesus listen those of you here just lift your hands lift your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be a wild move of the spirit because i see a lot of demonic oppressions are you ready now one two three let the power of god move move right now move right now move right now i cause every power i cause every power bring them in let her go now to break every chain Who brought her? What's wrong with her? At times like this, she does like this. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan, let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. 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 Kate paratapa. I return her back to sanity. Every madness. Out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out, out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you every altar speaking against everyone tonight, it will catch fire this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Leave her. Stand up. Stand up and follow me. Stand up by yourself and follow me. Stand up. Come, follow me. Stand up. Walk. Come. Come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. At, look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady huh? look at are you seeing for meeting look at the things that the devil has done bastardize this lady's life look at me what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. say Jesus. Jesus say I am fine she literally ate her mouth and injured it like that look at you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say, I am fine. I'm fine. Say, I'm fine. I'm fine. It never returns to you again. <laughs> Stretch your hands and say, it's over. <laughs> this deliverance is over. <laughs> if there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. 
this is I'm seeing witchcraft the Lord is showing me witchcraft people will rise in the family when they get to a point something hits them down and that's the end of no matter what happens this is what the Lord is showing me but the Lord is going to bring deliverance please lift your hands because this is I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft my God and my King let this thing end right now because this thing is not just with you alone it's with your family members my God let it end now let it end now even to your husband let her go in the name of Jesus Christ out of her out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk, huh? chalk, writing, as in his writing. Is he a teacher? A lecturer. He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him, and we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not see god must not show me what is happening to our husband for him to be delivered i hope you know that the word of god is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but god does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah the family is about to be delivered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus a family is about to be delivered right now be delivered now I'm not speaking out now I hear the chains falling two of you come are you related come 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 two of you yes what's your relationship eh is your boss you are learning to sew in his place don't laugh I don't mean love relationship I mean what's your relationship Huh? because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly are you getting my point now God is just delivering people out let her go our uh, ushers you are still not exempted be doing your work and be sensitive anything can happen to you be doing your work and be very very please everybody be sensitive hallelujah I'm going to pray for you you will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus hold your hands together there's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. True. There's everybody. It's not like every. This is death. This is delay marriage. La Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me, do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Out!
Something's moving, something's changing. Seems lonely, feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. Over your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase. Mighty increase. Coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. I release her and her family. Out! Out! That cause of hardship. Out! The Lord is bringing increase for your father. I'm seeing traditional things. These are habal things I'm seeing in a shrine. The Lord is taking them away. And bringing serious financial increase to your family Lord confirm your word I've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of Jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus this garment of shame go be set free be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Eunice 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 Lord is ministering to me a lady called Eunice who is that please if it's your name or someone related we have to save time Eunice Gabriel 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 Gabriel
I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digit. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? It's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, de did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing I cost you, be free my God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus name why are you here why are they here, what mm -hmm. next eh? all of you are Eunice is she married There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you, nobody cares, nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in away. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal, we have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. the Lord is not even talking about you he's talking about your elder ones I've seen them
It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring her out. Lord, let it be over now. Lay your hands on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. What is happening to you is happening to her. At the same time. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. It's the same thing that is happening to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake it, 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 it. outside. I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried, the blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliverance. Every altar. The children that have been buried. I command the earth. Share ye the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance. Massive deliverance. Now, now, I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Every serpent, every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the Spirit. For the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. You will hear testimonies. They will carry the dead bodies of men. Those who are found, they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go. I command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine 
let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on, lift your hands and worship Hallelujah You have won it all for me You have won Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come out, but lay your hands. Something miraculous will happen in this place right now. Wherever you are, lay your hands. Some you're laying your hands, but what is, if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands, just lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. The moment I pray for you, the power of God is already healing people right now. Check yourself. The moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you, maybe not everybody, just run out and come and stand here. There will be an explosion of miracles. You must celebrate what God is doing. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established? Hallelujah. Lay your hands now. And while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was present to heal. The Bible says, and when the even was come. They brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. We don't fake it in this place. A miracle is about to happen. As I begin to command, please check yourself. Start doing what you could not do. This is the point where your faith is needed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit, the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit. And Lord, I pray right now. As I begin to declare, I want you to shout a loud Amen. Miracles are already happening. In the name of Jesus, blind eyes, be open now. Blind eyes, every eye condition, be healed now. Be healed now. Every kind of deafness, complete or partial deafness, be healed now. Be healed now. God is touching people. Peptic ulcer. Be healed now. Be healed now. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You will feel like fire burning on your chest right now. That's ulcer being healed. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. You will feel fire burning on your chest. Ulcer is being healed right now. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast. The right breast. Lump in the right breast. Is being healed now. Lump is being healed now. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. By the prophetic word. Lady is going to start coughing things out. 
she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out hallelujah hallelujah migraine headache every kind of migraine be healed now be healed now be healed now every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem i command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of jesus There are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach i cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil i don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from november last year you don't need to come out from november last year You've only seen your period twice. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I restore order to your body. Now, I restore order. The power of God is moving to this effect. I restore order now. Now. Hallelujah. Please begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. A tooth problem has been healed. I give you the praise, Lord. A toothache, tooth problem, serious tooth problem. The Lord is healing it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Lord, let every healing, every healing. Hallelujah. Now, I really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since Pastor Jake is here we can lay hands faster on the sick do I need to call the sick to come out is that a good idea answer now let's work together because I know there are people you are still not satisfied okay please and please if you've been healed just stay back especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God please come out and line up thank you Jesus worship rain is falling down healing rain is falling down I'm not afraid I'm not afraid Brought, who brought our daddy he came on his own he came on his own what's wrong sir are walking. Yeah. Difficult, in walking. difficult in walking your leg what happened sir your leg is weak I'm going to pray for you daddy and Jesus will heal you right now hold my hand sir don't worry just sit down Thank you, Jesus.
the power of God will start moving your leg Lord thank you for healing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I cause that spirit you see something happening to your leg you're feeling something happening to your leg right yes the power of God is moving thank you Jesus thank you Jesus in the name of the Christ of God daddy look at me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ stand up come 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 help him help him this is stroke this is stroke in the name of Jesus I curse it I curse it I curse it sir at the count of three lift up both of your hands one two three no, just lift your hands lift your hands that stroke hand I curse it in the name of Jesus daddy try walking come hold my hands follow me come come look at me look at me come Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God. Give me the miracle. In the name of Jesus. Are you seeing the power of God now? Oh, 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 oh. Not only has God healed you, Daddy, God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten, everything the palmer worm has eaten. Because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October. They would have buried you first week of October. This is what the Lord is showing me. But in the name that is above all names, four years, four years now, for four years, this has been. The devil had wanted to destroy you. I'm seeing first week of October, they would have buried you. But in the name that is above all names, the Bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given. So, oh earth, I forbid you from taking this man's body. In the name of Jesus, he will live long, he will live strong. And for every one of you praying for him, may your family members live long. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Daddy, we are going to walk one more time. Look at, look at, he's so excited. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. Come on, walk again, daddy. Walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take him to his seat. The Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus. Worship him. Help us. Let's save him.
You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time. Set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft, acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. I told you he's dead. Where's where is your husband? Husband is dead. Husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They've, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where's your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. Free! Now! Madam, if there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now, together with the leg issue. 
your leg will start moving now supernaturally by itself your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hand Look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand i'm seeing a coffin in the spirit they have finished this girl since last year this girl you are seeing jesus said i am the resurrection and the life jesus said it is there anything too hard for me to do. I am dead. I am. Father, change this girl's story. I bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of Jesus Christ. Out now. Out now. Out now. Out. now. In the name of Jesus, I change the story of this family now. Whatever legal access the devil has over your family, we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom. Therefore, we command your exodus now. The same thing is happening to someone here. Exodus now. Everyone marked for death. I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death i command your exodus now in the name of jesus let's save time thank you jesus free she's in the hospital set her free in the name of jesus
saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against Jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice is when you don't know who you are I think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused Wash it in. are you ready now give us that song Sing anything, even if you don't know the fashion. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now?
Let the worship team, drama, be careful in Jesus' name. Hey, if we don't finish here on time, you will sleep here. Mommy be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, Baba Ladaba. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usher, shall start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior. He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say. Yes, He is mighty to say. Be healed now. Forever, In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10 just 1 to 10 if you are more than 10 keep them 1 to 10 please bring them out 1 to 10 mothers if you are tired give somebody to hold the child and come with it please just hurry up let's save time while we collect it please if you are not interested you can sit back please bring all the children we must lay hands ah that's a baby teach me how to hold them before i strangle the neck of this baby <laughs> come and hold the mic for me let me do serious business here Baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place. Stand up. Everybody stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. 
family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb? God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray, I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level, and you just come and march out here. Please, we, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do, we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I, if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men. Every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Lady, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please, let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus everything that makes your brain dull we command that you are not dull in the name of jesus christ bring her please in the name of jesus christ baby grow in the fear of the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now if you know honestly please don't play games with god here you know that you are trusting god to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know. 
you was a miracle. God is glorious. Sing it one more time. God is to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming, we break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him, but the relationship is hereby declared non and void. You must choose to walk in holiness and integrity. Hallelujah. There are people standing here that there are powers and thrones. Please lift your hands. And horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage. You are a very pretty lady, but nobody can look at you the moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hardworking and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names listen this is an apostolic ministry we are not ashamed the bible says i am not ashamed of the gospel every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom we will preach it and we will set people free lift your hands you will be very surprised i said it at the beginning of the year that god told me there will be surprise marriages even people who did not believe and expect listen let me give you a revelation my bible says male and female he created them what and what did he say female and female did he say male and male that means ladies there is a male counterpart for you you believe that i'm going to pray for the man not a man are you getting me not one man meandering around and you say let me manage time is going no you can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave. You cannot manage marriage. Lift your hands. Let's first destroy these altars of Baal. See that, Ababa. Get ready because the power of God is about to shatter spells into pieces. Father, everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the lord jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one two three right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become 
award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he's walking in this earth right now just like boaz located root i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now go and return with your testimony please rise up everybody pastor jakes please come pastor jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request listen friends we have a god that answers prayers there are just few minutes and we'll be out of here hallelujah hallelujah please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with god get go ahead and pray Father, we pray. Raba la baka shi para gale bondo si para bale brega le 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 boko sa. Raka tada raba basi te bale bondo braga la la varia raba baka sanda raba ligede. Riha tasa para bako dia de bale brega de 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 boko sa ni raba da. Inde raka tada bato para raka de bale brega la la varia raba do varia. Raka to pa ya raka tali raba 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 da. Inde brega le le bato braga do bale brega la la varia raba da. Raka tali raba la la varia raba da. Raka la varia varia raba raba da. Inda raka tala bara pa tala bara raba da. Rakta ta baha cha para bada, rakta ta li bara ba 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 ba. Enda reke le 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 ba kosi ba la bada. Rapato saliyando ho, imanda katoja ila, barus aliyando, igavoja ila, raunda as ila paliendo, resula atalia, rusa indo ko, iamba uada, wabula ada yondelu. Riyakula, rua chakayuna ma, rua duya ya yamiala, rua uba ura gala, rusia la, makondo robo koshi kama. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for the building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise, dead spiritual lives. Let it rise. The grace of God comes upon families in the blessed name of Jesus. We speak to barren cases, family challenges. In the name of Jesus, it ends. We speak to divorce cases. Aha! Lord, for those trusting you, for you to bring back their loved ones. Fathers, in the name of Jesus, we ask that fathers come back home. In the name of Jesus, we call for missing people. We ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the angels of God bring them back. In the blessed name of Jesus, and Lord, we speak right now into the highway. Aha, Lord, for our loved ones traveling right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the hand of God will be upon them. 
the Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we give you praise we give you glory for every prayer point here Lord he receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray and the church of God says hallelujah God's servant has prayed we convert this prayer request to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please everybody stand inside and outside please rise something must change in your life right now And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless and this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child. He said, for many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction. And I command, receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now in every area of your life breakthrough now receive breakthrough now every limit every limit I smash it in the name of Jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command it to start working now start working now every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward there is a voice listen the Bible says in six things shall he deliver you job five he said yes seven things he said in the time of famine you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command every scorching tongue against your destiny be silenced now be silenced now be silenced now Silence now. Be silence now. Be silence now. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. 
that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon will they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now I cause barrenness record to second day reports come to Shabbat and Jesus said every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and the sons of the prophet told Elisha he said where we meet with you is too small come let us go beyond the Jordan and the Bible says while they were felling the tree at Jordan the axe head fell and they said alas master for it was borrowed and the prophet said where did it fall and he threw a stick and the art head began to float I reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only God can change it may that God change it now every situation in your life that only God can change may that God change now change it now change it now That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the heathen the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows and the Bible says Esther went in and when the king saw her he said Esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life reporto sotoa we break protocols tonight and we command that God will take you there. May my God take you there. May my God take you there. Hallelujah. And the man who was crippled from birth, he needed a miracle, but there was no man to help him. And the Bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him. 
it's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way i prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise i call them into your life now 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 hallelujah the bible says thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about genesis 24 verse 1 and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things how many things how many things every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing the bible says naaman second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he was a mighty man the bible says but he was crippled i pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of god let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down he said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can god take me back to this level again some of you are asking can i go back to the level of anointing i used to function in again can god take me to that level of grace again my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you in the name of the lord jesus christ and now i pray for you may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord lift up his face before you may he lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace in the name of the lord jesus christ give god praise in the name of jesus dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline